what it do youtube it's your boy real it's your boy will and this is glow sun geek so we got a couple of topics we're going to hit up on today uh gi joe talk and of course we gotta hit the big old disney talk uh going uh disney getting attacked by one of the uh assassins all right the, uh, <laughs> right from the mcu yeah. all right so first thing we're going to talk about uh is the uh, deal with the gi joes is snake eyes it dropped uh reviews from there um uh, they speaking as far as the when it comes to the box office it's doing to me uh it seems like it's doing pretty well uh even with the uh when it comes to covid uh people are still trying to get out there it's a uh, uh basically a superhero movie so of course people want to go see it uh so what were your thoughts of it um i didn't hate it uh i wanted to like it i just i feel like because you know we grew up with with gi joe not sure. just because of the 80s and all that stuff man it's just when you look at snake eyes you kind of have an idea of who he is you know as a character uh, you also can kind of base the character off of the different uh, Marvel comic uh, runs that G.I. Joe had. Um, I just felt like with this movie, man, it just didn't feel very Snake Eyes. -ish. It just felt like a, a, a if you didn't put Snake Eyes in the, the title, it would have been something but would have been all right. But because you put Snake Eyes in there, excuse me, you put Snake Eyes in there. Now we have a, a, a certain type of way we looking at it as how we think Snake Eyes should be compared to how the yeah. character is that we know of. Yeah. Um, but I guess we're going to get into it. Spoilers, by the way. If you yeah. haven't seen the movie, it's going to be spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. Um, like, I didn't like the, the character development of Snake Eyes. Like mm -hmm. I said, Snake Eyes is a very noble uh, character. Didn't feel any type of nobility in this movie with him. Uh, it's I, I don't know, man. I there were a lot of things in this movie. I guess we're gonna get into that they could have done better, that they just didn't do. Um, they just made Snake Eyes like an asshole in this movie to me. Uh, <laughs> not very likable as far as like didn't, didn't see a change in him as it progressed in the movie. You just felt like yeah. he was just he was just an asshole throughout the whole entire movie. Um, I just I, like I said. Wish it could have been a little bit better. I kind of had my mind frame of how we see Snake Eyes in the mm -hmm. comics and the cartoons and other iterations of him or whatever, and it just did not seem like that was him in the movie. But mm -hmm. what'd you think? Uh, the action was good. Yeah, the same thing for me. It wasn't a uh, home run that I was hoping for. Yeah. Uh, the what they were playing, what they were going after, as far as say like, the. Uh, one in vengeance uh, for his dad uh, was I could understand it, uh, but it just like you said that what I was waiting for was that noble side of him. Like I was waiting for that the whole time because it was just that I don't think he like for legit snake eyes. I don't think he would have just joined this guy just yeah. to get vengeance for his dad. It's like. Especially when he knew that he was it was a terrorist group he was working for. Yeah, exactly. Like, like no, nah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna continue <laughs> to keep doing what I was doing. It's like you even say like oh, I don't do terrorist, you know, work and all that type of stuff, and then he's still going through with it. It's exactly. you know, I didn't like the, the action, I didn't I didn't I didn't like the action either. Well, the action was okay. Yeah. The the thing about you know, I guess we're spoiled when it comes to action nowadays because you have certain movies like the raid. Where yeah. you can see the action clearly, you see who's yeah. getting hit, who's getting punched. It's too much nowadays that it's shaky cam. You know, it's yeah. constantly moving, so you don't know who's getting hit and what and all that. It's yeah. there was too much of that in this movie, and we all know that Snake Eyes is a is a great hand to hand combatant. And I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of that. I just didn't didn't see enough because, like I said, it was more all that he's shaking the camera and stuff. Yeah. Um, at the beginning, yeah. Uh, like I, yeah, exactly. That's, it it kind of reminded me of I don't know if you remember when uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman run, like all the action with Batman was always a the camera was moving, shaking. You really couldn't see Batman do anything. And mm -hmm. I remember the uh, the fight coordinator of uh, Batman vs Superman had kind of mentioned that he was saying that like, look, with this Batman is gonna be different. You're actually going to see him put in the work. 
And of course, yeah. we saw it in that warehouse scene, one of my favorite scenes <laughs> of all time. <laughs> yeah. uh, you saw Batman putting in the work. You see him actually hitting yeah. cats and blocking and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's what I was kind of hoping with uh, Snake Eyes, because we know Snake Eyes is one of the best hand hand, hand hand combatants in all the made up uh, superhero land or whatever. And yeah. so <laughs> for us not to be able to really get to see that was kind of a, a letdown. Um, with the, like I said, the character development, it, it kind of, he didn't decide to be good because it was the right thing to do. Yeah. He decided to be, to. it wasn't that he decided to be good. It's really he decided to change because they betrayed him. That's all yeah. it was. It's like, yeah. oh, so this is why my dad died. Well, I'm going to go after y'all. Yeah. It's not like, you know what? I've been, you know, vengeance has been a cancer in my life. I need to change my heart. I need to forgive and this and that and this. I need to declare that. Yeah, I need, I need to, you know, accept it and move on and, and be a better person. It wasn't nothing like that. It was like, okay, I finally got this guy. Oh, you really were hired by the same organization that I'm working for right now? And yeah. it's like, okay, now I'm going to go uh, stop me and go get the, you know, that sun heart or whatever that thing was called that they, they were uh, yeah. trying to get. Yeah. And it's like, that that's not snake eyes to me, man. Uh, I don't I don't know if like, they're trying to make the character more believable or something or ground them or whatever the case is, man. But to tell you the truth, I, I yeah. didn't like how they handled Snake Eyes. Yeah. And that was, uh, just watching it, that's what I was thinking. I was, I was like, bro, like, now you want to try to play the good guy. Yeah. When, so I like how so what okay, so one thing I did like is that they did have like his dad part of the G.I. Joe. He was a Joe. Uh, and that's why he ended up getting killed. Right. But I think that the what would have been better was him uh his dad being able to instill that honor in him. Yeah. Uh being able to uh tell him don't go for vengeance. Uh that vengeance uh is like Vengeance uh, can only bring uh, bad things to you. Vengeance is uh, a dark myth in your heart. Like, things like that to where he would basically try to stay away from it. Uh, and I think that would have been able to give a better under a better storyline for him. Right. Instead of him just being vengeful, then he uh, goes into the pit with the snakes and about to get jacked up because he's vengeful. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's like, come on, y'all. Come on. So it was, it was upsetting uh, that the way that they did it. But I'm gonna be honest. When they drop another iteration of GI Joe, I'm gonna be out there watching it. Oh yeah, because, I mean, of course, of course. Uh, because I, I have hope for it. You know, uh, I see that this is just the beginning of the new GI Joe uh, storyline. Uh, so I have hope that, okay, hopefully they'll listen to the critics that pull some of the good things that they were able to do it, pull it into the next movie and then take it forward. That's, that's my hope. That's my hope. So, uh, and plus with everything opening back up, I think they'll have time to actually get it right. Uh, because Marvel's just going to be dominating, uh, the movie scene for a while. Uh, with everything opening back up, so uh, I think that will give them time. Uh, do you want to know what the Rotten Tomato score is right now for Snake Eyes? Can I guess? Go ahead. Thirty nine. Oh my God, you were so close. Thirty eight. Oh, is it for real? Yes, thirty eight. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Yeah. So the <laughs> so Rotten Tomatoes has a new uh, audience. Uh, rating system that's verified but like you know a lot of times we get these people who go on there and just vote who ain't never yeah, seen the movie yeah, or about before stuff. they or, or they don't or they don't like uh you know haven't seen the movie and I already got the pre pre uh, notion that oh I don't like it so I'm gonna go go ahead and give it a zero. So yeah. now they have a way to where you verify that you actually seen the movie before you vote or whatever. So the audience score is a 74. The to me the tomato meter is at a 38. That's a critic rating. Um, yeah. So when you said hopefully in the next one, I I don't know what the box office looks like right now for Snake Eyes, but I don't know, man. I really like you said, I really had high hopes for Snake Eyes. 
the trailers look real good. I guess it's another example of like don't just look at the trailers are the uh, end all be all. You know, because a lot of times we've seen a lot of movies where the trailers look like the best thing we ever seen in our lives. You go see the movie and it's like, oh, crap. you know, um, and I think this might be one of them. I really wanted to love this movie. I, like I said, I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate it. I just did not like it. Yeah. You know, but I, I mean, I guess we're going to have to see what the box office numbers are, man. Hopefully the box office can save it. Um, mm-hmm. It was, of course, you know, this is a Hasbro uh, property. You know, Hasbro just started their movie division to where, like, all the toys that they, you know, they made, they started to make movies out of them. Of course, you know, Transformers was one of the first ones. Um, and now G.I. Joe. I know for, for the longest there was a rumor that they were going to do a G.I. Joe Transformer crossover. They've been talking about that for years. Um, of course, and now I think Hasbro bought Power Rangers, so that was another movie that they were going to try to re, uh, reboot. Um, Maybe they can do it right. Yeah, hopefully they can do it right, man. But they're not, they're not starting off on the right foot right now, man, with the <laughs> nah, uh, snake nah, eyes. Yeah. Jesus, man. Yep, 38%. Yeah, it was, that's tough. Yeah. But like I say, uh, they got time. They got time. Uh, and I'm hoping, to, uh, just like you said, that as well, uh, that the box office will uh, do well enough to where they'll be like, okay, we can do another movie. And this time... Let's go ahead and work out the kinks. Let's go get closer to uh, the cartoons. It doesn't have to be like a cartoon movie, but get uh, just get closer to the oh, you, material. You, you, you don't even <laughs> got to do the cartoons. Just do the comics. The yeah, comic runs. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, exactly. so get close, uh, closer to the source material just so that uh, the storyline will be that much better. Because, uh, right. yeah, that's... They got to do better with that. They got to do better. So uh, moving forward, uh, as we're saying, uh, when it comes to Marvel over the next, basically, I mean, they've been doing it for a while, but uh, now that everything is opening uh, more and more back up, uh, Marvel's going to be dominating with their MCU, all the movies and TV shows that's coming out. Uh, one of their more recent uh, movies that dropped was uh, Black Widow. It did... Uh, the first weekend it did very well, as we all know. Uh, the second weekend it dropped. Uh, it had a considerable drop. Seventy five percent drop. A seventy yeah, percent drop. It's right around seventy uh, percent drop uh, because of they they had they added it to the streaming service as well uh, to the Disney Plus streaming service, right. uh, which many people uh, believe that that just basically cannibalized itself. Uh, um, going week to week. Now people are able to watch it at home as often as they want. Uh, so there's no need to pay for that streaming or pay uh, to go to the theater uh, with the family multiple times, especially if you really enjoy it uh, before it comes to home. Uh, with that happening, uh, Scarlett Johansson uh, is suing Disney, uh, basically a breach of contract. Uh, her salary was tied to the uh, theater uh money and because of the like i said the cannibalism of them dropping it on disney plus yep. uh hurt the product as far as uh making the money uh but on top of that it was part of her contract that it would only be a theatrical release uh and then disney of course responded as it uh, would be expected that uh disney basically playing why are you being so selfish? Uh, we have a pandemic going on and you're just worried about uh, money when people have died and got all this stuff going on. And it's like, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. But a contract's a contract. Why is uh, everything a business until it's the business, the company uh, doing, breaking the contract? So when it's the people... They, they got to be held to the contract, but it seems like the companies don't. Uh, what do you think about it? Well, because <clears throat> I got a lot to say about this whole situation. So, for one, you were saying about the whole Disney situation and how they're being like, mm-hmm. kind of selfish and stuff. So, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, Bob Iger was the CEO of Disney. He was a guy that was running everything at Disney. He was the head honcho. Bob Iger is now slowly moving out. He's no longer going to be with Disney anymore. And uh, so now they have a new CEO that's, that's slowly coming in by uh, Bob Cape, uh, Cape Chapik. I think it's his last name. I can't really pronounce his last name. And so 
there's been articles that have been coming out here for the last few months about how things are now running at Disney now that Bob Iger is not there anymore. I think we talked about this before. Bob Iger had it to where the streamline to get things done was a lot shorter, so things can get done a little bit more quicker. The new uh, CEO has come in there and completely changed the whole entire structure to the point that there's been articles that's been coming out that there are a lot of unhappy Disney employees right now. And Disney right now is is not running like the wheel or machine that they've been running under Bob Iger. Yeah. Um, with this, with the decision, I think we talked about this before, because I, I think, matter of fact, when we did a video and we were talking about how uh, Black Widow got pushed back, you know, 2,066 times, yeah. we thought that, you know, it was because they want to make sure that the whole COVID thing is is well in, in taken care of and people can actually yeah. go to the movies and watch this movie. Yeah. But that did not seem to be the case. That was the plan under Bob Iger. They were going to put it in the movie theaters. Now, yeah. under this new regime, they went ahead and split it like they've been doing with their other movies. And I was thinking to myself when he did this, that, that's not a, that was not a good move. We talked about this before. It's to the point now that the numbers were starting to increase as far as the, uh, you know, the opening weekend numbers. So then with it being a Marvel movie, I think Marvel would have got their money if they had just, just straight released it in the movie theaters. Absolutely. And so, like you said, it's not the it's not only the fact that you can buy this thing at home. Now that you can buy it at home, it's easier to pirate now yeah. that video. Uh, yeah. Cause yeah. we you can go to any type of little bootleg movie site and can watch it clear and everything. Compared yeah. to, you know, if you had to just it went straight to the movies, if you did watch a bootleg, it'll be a little fuzzy and all that stuff. So people going to want, not, like I say, it being a Marvel movie, you're going to want to go to the movie theaters and watch it. And so you 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 uh, fighting with all of that. And so uh, Kevin Feige is also upset about the whole thing because, like I said, it's out of his hands. It's his boss's decision yeah. to put it on streaming and in the movie theaters. And of course, Scarlett Johansson is upset because, like you said, you get a certain portion based off of the box office numbers. And the box office numbers are suffering because you decided to put it on the in the movie theaters and in streaming. And we've seen plenty of times that that's not the best way to do it. Ask Warner Brothers how that's going. Yeah. Space Jam is suffering behind that. I think the only movie that is doing it was doing okay with the streaming and the movie that I think was Guys of the Birth Cone. I think that's the only one. Yeah. Other than and that, their numbers the aren't looking one. as great because you're splitting it. And that's hurting the, uh, the product. Excuse me. And so I see where she's going with this. And as mm. and not not just for her, just think of it as your product. You don't understand how that would hurt, that hurts your product. If yeah. you order it on Disney streaming, you can sit at home and watch it as many times as you want. I've seen Compared it to times. if you have it in a movie theater, I like the movie. I'm gonna have mm. to pay again to go to the movie and see it. That's more money in your pockets. So now you pay that, that one price on the, on Disney streaming, you can see it as many times. I can see it a million times. It don't cost nothing. You just yeah. pay that one little price. Compared to if I want to see it one, two, maybe three times in the movie theater, I'm paying a, a price, a new price every time I'm going to go see it. And so I don't understand. Like the thing is, we understand why Warner Brothers is doing it. Don't agree with it, but we understand why Warner Brothers is doing it. They're trying to promote the HBO Max uh, app. Yeah. That, that's yeah. what they're trying to do. You already are on good footing with your <laughs> streaming service. You don't yeah. have to do that. That's why I understand why you did not put the movie completely in the movie theaters. You're not struggling at all with your streaming service. I, I just I didn't understand that at all, bro. I because when we did a video, we talked about that, and you yeah. said, "Oh no, they already said it's going to go on both streaming and the movie theaters." I was confused. Like, are you serious? Then why'd you push it back a hundred times? Yeah. You could have been put in the movie theater if you the if, you know if that was your choice to split it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, I th like I said, I think that that decision came later on when uh, the new CEO is now running things because I don't think Bob Iger would have had that movie in both the movie theater and on streaming because he would have been released if that was the case. Yeah. And so, but yeah, that, that's that's my opinion on the bro. I, I I I see where she's going. I see where Kevin Feige is going. I know it's out yeah. of Kevin Feige's hands. All he can do is make it. It's up to the Disney, you know, marketers and all that stuff to decide what to do with it. That's out of his hands. It's a Disney product. Yeah. 
So yeah. he had it's out of his hand. I could do it, just make it, make sure it's good enough to put out there. That's all I can do. I'm not in charge of when it releases or nothing like that. That's over his head. So I can kind of see where he's un, he's uh, unhappy with that because that affects the numbers for Marvel. Is yeah. you know with that whole you splitting it up and stuff. I think uh, I like the fact that uh, Kevin Feige uh, spoke up for Scarlet. Uh, yeah, for Scarlet. Because uh, I think that, that wasn't uh, his call. That wasn't his call. Yeah. Exactly, and the fact that uh, being able to show because uh, I think this will this has the potential of uh, hurting Disney. It will be like a detrimental thing, but as far as being able to help get these stars uh, yep. for the different Marvel movies, yep. uh, for these other movies that they got rolling out, uh, they'll look back at this. It's like, mm, oh no, you had one of your biggest uh, stars of the MCU. For the past decade right. and you screwed her over like this so what would you do to me uh type of situation so and because I you think, know what uh, what you saying that they need to look at then you should look at the situation that wb was just in yeah. they did the same thing and it got a lot of backlash behind that because they exactly. all of a sudden were moving their movies not only in the movie theaters but on their streaming service without telling anybody and all mm-hmm. this old stuff you saw yeah. how that turned out it did not turn out well that was in articles online. You see uh different uh actors and, and directors. Remember, James Gunn came out and said something. It's just like exactly. all these different people started coming out and started voicing their opinions and stuff, man. And it was not good for WB. And so now why would you want to go down that road too? Like I said, I, I see WB thinking because they're trying to promote a streaming service that's not on par yet with Disney. So they're trying their best yeah, to try to add content right. on there to get more uh subscriptions or whatever, right? But you're yeah. Disney. You're already good on that. You were the first yeah. one to do it. You're good. Your numbers are good. So yeah. I don't understand why they're still splitting stuff to go onto the streaming service and into the movie theaters. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, I think that was a stumble on that part. Uh, if, I mean, for me personally, I like that they did the... Uh, that they were able to get in, uh, that they did the split because it made it a little bit easier for me to catch that Black Widow. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I've seen it three times. And I have been to the theaters, uh, so that was how I was able to see uh, Snake Eyes. And when Shane chi drops, going to the... Uh, well, you're not going to have a choice on Shane chi because I think they said that they're not going to do any more splitting now. Uh, it's going right. straight to the movie. Well, like, yeah, because this, this, this right here yeah. is the... Yeah, it's the biggest yeah. mess. And up. that was my plan anyway. It was like, I was just uh, not even knowing about the Shane chi only to the theater. But mm-hmm. that was my plan. It's like, uh, the Black Widow is going to be the last one that I... Uh, Watch at the house because yeah. at yeah at that point, uh, Shang Chi and Beyond, it's going to be in a the movie theater. Uh, just being able to get the full effect of it and getting ready uh, to hit like your Spider Man, the Eternals, and everything else. So right. I was I was ready for it, uh, either way, but yeah, I think uh, Disney stumbled on this one. I think they uh, end up uh, being forced to make it right. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be hard to see a ruling going against them. I think they end up settling. Uh, out of court, uh, basically be like, "Yep, we did. We 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 did bad on this one, contract wise. We un- we understand why you're upset. Yes, uh, with the whole pandemic going on, we understand why you're upset because it's part of the contract. But let's make this right. Uh, she get uh, what's owed. I'm sure they'll see what how or how the other uh, movies have done and be like, okay, here's your bag of money that can, is comparable to." Uh, what our other uh, movies have or done, so they, you know they could have did because they could have did like what wb uh warner brothers did with uh gal gadot when they ended up splitting wonder woman and you know into the movies into on the streaming service they cut her a chick yeah. to compensate for you know that streaming side you know what yeah. i'm saying like look uh-huh. we're gonna put your movie on streaming and in the movie theaters we know you're not gonna get yeah. the full money that you're supposed to get because it's not gonna be fully in the movie theaters we're gonna yeah. cut you and patty this chick Y'all could have yeah. did that for her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, like I said... Without we, her having to say something. Yeah, without her having to say something. But, bro, listen, like you said, beginning of the video, it dropped that... I've never seen... I don't think I've ever seen Marvel drop that low in a movie ever, bro. I mean, yeah. I could be wrong on a movie, but I'm just saying, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of any movie that dropped from week one to week two that much. Yeah, like you know what saying? or something like that. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Something yeah, something. and it's just like... Like I said, I see where she's going with that, bro. I, I would be mad. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was confused when it does, they decided to go with that move. I was confused. Yeah. I was like, when you said that, I'm like, are you sure they said they're going to put it on both? You're like, yeah, well, they, they reported it. I'm like, 
no, that ain't make no sense. Did you see the Godzilla clone numbers? <laughs> Throw the whole thing in there. You're good. It's exactly. a horrible movie exactly. too. Like, I don't know, man. That's crazy to me. Man. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Like I said, I think they're gonna uh, course correct, uh, and with uh, moving forward, they'll have to uh, with everything just going straight to the theater, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, with that being said, uh, do you have anything to add? Oh no, that's uh, pretty uh, much it, it man. Too? I just uh, get ready for uh, what if coming out this. Uh, so we're gonna. Um, how you want to do the what if, man? You want to do in each episode, or you want to do? You know what? Yeah, we can do each episode. We do each yeah, episode. We, we, yeah, we uh, do because uh, it's not it's not a it's not an overall episodes. narrative like you know the other shows that we saw. So yeah, we could do each episode yeah. on uh, the next shows coming up here. So. Yeah, I'll look. I'll look forward to that next week. We're gonna talk about the first episode of uh, What If. Yep. And uh, make sure that y'all like and subscribe. Uh, also hit that bell, especially because uh, uh, that he man dropped. I hadn't had the opportunity to uh, just watch it just yet. So once I, I get up on it, we're gonna do a, a right, we'll uh, show about too. it. Yes, exactly. We're gonna get in on uh, get in on that as well. Uh, make sure y'all get into our comments as well. Uh, what do y'all think about uh, Snake Eyes? Did y'all love it? Did y'all hate it? Indifferent. Uh, looking forward to the additional uh, storylines that they're going to, uh, that they plan on going with it. Uh, oh, what do. about the, yeah, uh, it, it has potential. It has, uh, it has serious Oh, yeah, uh, it definitely potential. has potential. Yeah, for sure. And then, uh, what are y'all thoughts about uh, Marvel, uh, or actually with Disney, uh, and the move that they did with Scarlett Johansson, uh, breaking the contract uh, and splitting uh, between the streaming service, uh, Disney Plus, and going to the theaters. She hated it. She didn't get the money that she was owed. So, hey, I get it. I get it. There's a lot of money out there. All right. So make sure y'all hit these comments and talk to us. Uh, we will respond. All right. And make sure you keep it respectful as well. I'm Will. Real. And thank you for spending time with us. We are Geek on the Glow Sun Production. Stay Geek.